what it is, what's happening. Well, got Al Zeka's love machine in the money bag. And uh, it's going to be a ticket. So it was at another shop. He had them put a motor in it. Um, and it's a mess. Six months later, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a shame. This is the main, so it doesn't start with a key, nothing works, no alternator. It's got a toggle switch and a push button to start. Dude cut the main harness. That's the bulkhead connector. So in this harness is your start wire, your alternator, the power to send power into the truck to power everything up, um, temperature gauge, oil pressure gauge, all that stuff is in that harness. They wanted to take out the harness for the um, throttle body. That's all they needed to remove. Why he cut all that other stuff, I have no idea. I've been working on Chevy vans since I was a kid because my old man was a van guy, so I grew up around vans. Um, so it's a disaster. I mean, they got stuff over here undone. Um, the radiator's nice and mounted. He's got... 30 feet of hose from the trans to the cooler. That's a big no-no. That's too much rubber. That's a fire waiting to happen. You can't have that much rubber hose from the trans to the cooler. Uh, HVAC wiring, all balled up. Talking about the gas pedal sticking, the cable is no good. The cable is no good. This fan has got a million cracks in it. I don't know if you can see it. That thing's waiting to fly apart. I mean, it's just got a lot of wrong stuff. It does run. Doesn't sound bad. I have not driven this van down the road. Um, I do know it runs. It sounds okay. They got the dash apart. They got the instrument cluster out of it. Again, I have no idea why you would take that stuff out. Uh, they got it rigged up on this toggle switch. So it does run. It does sound okay. Um, I drove it in the shop, but they've got a lot of stuff wrong. Like he's got, so you need a PCV valve, and I, this hose is hooked to something under the truck. It's supposed to go to main vacuum, carburetor, or the intake port, or something like that. I have no idea where he's got that hooked to, but that's wrong. Fuel line is all rubber, and it's going on the back side of the motor here. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's about three inches away from the exhaust. Who would want rubber hose three inches away from the exhaust after you've been driving this thing for a couple hours? That's a fire. But he does have the Cheech and Chong steering wheel installed. Um, it's just a mess. It's, uh, I'm not very impressed with this, uh, with this at all. It's a small block Chevy. It's about as basic as it gets, and it's about as mess of as a mess it can get. So uh, that's what I've got in front of me today uh it's a disaster i mean like i said at least it does run and it does move but boy what a mess it is so i gotta go back i gotta repair that harness and get the starter hooked up get the all data hooked up um it's just a disaster mix match plug wires i don't know why he bought a set of plug wire set he got all red ones and one black one how did you mess up a brand new plug wire set is beyond me but well let me get at it try to figure this mess out and uh holler at your boy keeps it reels